Hey guys, Supertorn here. Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's in the Amazing Mirror. I think I put a plural on there when I wasn't supposed to, but whatever. I was supposed to have a clever pun for um, Kirby being emerald color this time, but I lost it. Alright though, where we need to be this time, I, if I recall, is to finish off this area. So, we have just this section up here. Perfect. A goal and then to area 9. That's not that bad to do this time around. I just gotta remember to do it. I've actually never shown off Cupid. Which is weird, because Cupid is actually one of my more like powers. You can hold it to fire an arrow, you can hold it to charge up, fire three arrows, you can fire up, you can fire down, and you can fly. You kind of slowly go down as you fly, but you have like perfect flight, basically. It's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, this is where we want to go. So I'm just going to be Cupid for a little while, until I lose it, or need something else. Come on. Well, that didn't take long to get hit. Didn't take long at all to get hit. I can kill you. You know, I'm just going to take sword. Cupid is fun for kind of messing around, but... Actually, if I recall, what I want, I can do with bonkers power. And now I have bonkers power. Bonkers is really not that hard of an enemy, and I'm kind of sad over that. Oh? Oh, that's probably what we need up there, actually. Actually, that up there is assuredly what we need. Okay. We have a goal, guys. We know where we need to go. We just need to figure out how we need to go there. Oh, hey, Red has UFO. I kind of want to steal UFO from Red. Alright, I'm gonna hazard a guess that we need to get there from this room. So we just need to find the doorway, which is probably this here, actually. Yeah, yeah, I I'm almost guaranteeing you that this is where we need to go. Because that gave us a way out if we didn't have a power, and we didn't have to come through this door, and perfect! Was that all for a one-up? That was all for a... Alright. Alright, we're going back now. That's all we need out of that area, so we just gotta take the goal and then the area... The nice thing, at least in this particular case, is that if you swallow up a power-up star and an enemy, you will always get the power-up in st or the power from the star instead of the enemy. Uh, I'm gonna go with the hope that we need to go through both of these. Okay, good. And there's actually a power up in here. Good to know. Uh, I don't want to give up hammer. There's nothing really I will need wheel for, or yeah, wheel at any point. Probably? This here would be something that wouldn't hurt to have wheel in. But we can invulnerability frames our way through that. So no harm. And we get music. Nice, more music. And that is all we need in this area. So we just gotta find our way to the goal. Which is really easy now, actually. We have nothing in the goal area. You know what? We'll play the goal game. I am actually honestly impressed I did not kill myself with that maneuver. It would have been completely in character for me to have killed myself by going after the hammer. It wouldn't be the first time either. I'm pretty sure I've killed myself falling into a pit as I've tried to recover hammer. Pretty sure. But hammer's... hammer's usually worth it. Sometimes. Not really. Regardless, bonus game. Also, if multiple Kirby's, I don't know if I mentioned this, if multiple Kirby's get to the goal game at the same time, they'll all play it at once. There's why the, it's why there's that little delay and why you don't immediately get on it. So it's just a nice little detail, but since I am all by myself, we're not going to see it. Man, that Kirby dance. Alright, let's finish off this area. Because we just need to go through the passageway that'll take us to Area 9. 
one of the passageways that'll take us to Area 9. I do this game, like, so freaking out of order. It's not even funny how out of order I do it. As I recall, we have two areas left to complete, question mark? I'm gonna have to check that, actually. We can check that to see how many mirror pieces I have when we get back to the, um... When I get back to the main area after... Whew, I almost spit that out. After we get up to Area 9. Man, I just love taking damage. Alright, this is indeed where we want to go, and there's, of course, a power-up in this... Or item in this. Oh, that just screwed me out of it, didn't it? That just screwed me out of it. No, no. Oh, God. Uh, okay. No, yeah, that screwed me out of it. I need to die now. Crap. Because we can't go through those. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, is there any way for me to do this outside of taking damage? Let me see if I can get this other chest. I'm just going to grab Cutter because I feel like having the ability to use Cutter will be better for me in this event. Alright. Yeah, no, that'll screw me out of there, so we'd actually have to get this from down below, the very bottom. Which we actually need to go through there to get to. Okay. Actually, can you, Is there a pit over here I can fall in? That'd be grand. There's a pit! Perfect! Alright, so I can get both of these. Now, first things first, is we will need to break through here. Alright, and then we want to go up... And we can grab this. Also probably going to want to go through there. So I'm going to have to fedangle my way for that. Alright, we want to break this upper one, but not the lower one. And that will allow us to get Cutter, to ride this down, to grab some meat. Which is all we need in this area. Now then, I am basically assured that we are going to need to go through that fake door, through the enemy door. So I'm just going to die all the time. I'm going to regret that later on when I get a game over, but I'm just going to die all the time. Gotcha! Was that actually a mirror? The enemies that copy your power? I gotta look at that again sometime. Uh, meanwhile, I'm hoping that there is... Okay, we do at least know that there are chests in this room. We can see now that what I just did there was pointless? Uh, is there... No, because I gotta go up through here. Okay. So you didn't have to take that because you could always go through that little destroyable block area. I'm gonna take running again. Ooh, that's either purple or grape. I might use that for some of the final episodes. And yep, there is indeed a reason why we have to come down here. Twofold reason, actually. Um, hmm. Uh, power up we can get that can get us into there. Laser? Sword. Sword will get us in there. Sword will get us into there. Okay, we're golden. Because I don't think laser could. But sword should be able to get us into there for that reason. If we had hammer, it would be even easier. If we had UFO, that would work, but I don't trust red. Red's useless. But we should be able to just fall in here. Destroy crap. We need to come through to this area again. Oh, well. We can come through to this one again. No big worry. Alright, I'm going to take your power this time. I'm going to take your power this time because I don't trust my luck. I know how my luck is. We're going to need ice, and I'm not going to take you, and I'm going to be so disappointed. So I'm taking ice. Oh good, we, they would have given us more ice. They would have given us a lot of ice, actually. That is a long... Oh right, the pengies just respawning. That's what's happening there, Dur. Is there actually any... Oh no, there's not even anything in this room. Perfect, so that was completely pointless, my whole concern there. Let's see where this will take us. 
Man, this is this is already taking ten minutes. I was not expecting these few rooms to take this long. Mm -hmm. Back in Candy Constellation. Say bye to Candy Constellation. Because we just gotta finish up those that last chest, I believe, is what we need. And the power we take doesn't particularly matter. Because we gotta take the left door. Because the center one should take us to that wind tunnel. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna be mildly disappointed, but so be it. I should really heal at some point. I, I, I should really, you know, I don't need to go that way this time. And I think we just need to go through this doorway here, which at worst, now yeah, we can do that just like that, perfect. Yep, this is the way we need to go. Okay, so we can go up through here, meet the delicious, I, I'm gonna, uh, what type of meat is that? That is your stereotypical cartoon meat. Is that white meat? Red meat? I don't know. And that was pretty much all we needed to do in this area. So perfect! This area is now 100% complete. Now we have more areas to go to. But actually, instead of going to more areas... Okay, we have two areas left to complete. Um, um, I know we have four to complete. Four and five. We could go back to five, to be honest. But I think I'm instead going to go through area one. Because well, we've completed a decent bit of the lower area... We have this area up here, and this entire area up here still to do. I think we're going to take care of this area first. Uh, um, we're going to take care of this area over here first, actually. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, guys. Probably not. We've never actually gone through this door before. That's... Hmm. Alright, so we're going to need some sort of cutter powers. Or ma'am... That connects to Area 2. We actually need to go to Area 2 from there, actually. Let's take, let's take care of that while we're in the area. Because we do need to go to Area 2. We do need to go to Area 2 because there's still... Area 2 is actually not 100% complete yet. So we should 100% complete it. Okay. Yeah, because we have these five rooms still to do in Area 2. So let's take care of that. I don't think there was anything in... Wait... No, there is something in this room. Okay, it's probably down here in the water. I know how this game is. Uh, okay, maybe off to the left. Or, not the left, the right. I know my left and right, guys. I like to think I know my left and rights anyway. I usually do. Um, oh, here we go. This is what we need. Music. You know what? I don't even care. The enemy died, I'm still alive, and I still have a lot of health. Not the most health, but it's a lot of health. That's all that matters. Now this area here, first step first, we are going to take the upper door back. And discover that it is already perfect. Perfect! Next thing's next. See these big blocks? We need help to swallow them. Alright, I'm going to get rid of all their freaking power-ups. Okay, guys, guys, at once. At once. God help me, Green. God help me, Green. Okay, guys, 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 this isn't that hard, guys. Guys. Okay, guys. Once more, with feeling. The eye, ladies and gentlemen! Aren't they grand? Ain't the AI just the best thing you've ever encountered, guys? Come on, guys! All together, please! Oh, I love this AI so freaking much. 
You were in the perfect position! <sighs> Come on. No, red. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? You, you in the door. Go away. What are we figuring to get out of that room? Isn't the AI grand? Isn't it just absolutely grand? Come on, green. Follow me. There we go. There we go. All of you get your butts back here. There we go. Was it that hard to do, guys? And holy crap, the way that the frames work in this emulation is... Yeah. Alright then. There's a gold game in here. There is paint and two one-ups. Is that all that we had to get? Nope. There's more to get for us. But we'll get that more up here. Holy crap. That was much, much more of a headache than you'd be. I'm also going to need Cutter, so I'm going to keep Cutter on me. Gonna kill Batty by just throwing my face into him. You, sir, are a jerk. Uh, let's go this way first. I don't actually want to take the... Oh, that was literally just for 1-Up. Well, I suppose I did need to make up all these 1-Ups I've been spending. Alright, so... Cutter, great at solving puzzles. Really? You can't die in spikes? There was nothing in that room, right? Yep, so we're back in the goal room. And that is not a one-way, so we're gonna want to leave this room. Gonna want to leave this room at some point. Didn't want to leave it yet. Uh, there's gonna be another one-way door to get back in there. I assume, hope, pray. What the hell was that? Oh good, we did need that. And grab one up. Is that everything? Yay, we just need to go back into the other room now. Look at this current push that rock. Look at it! Crap. Uh, up here, nothing important. So we're gonna go through here. Up in here. Uh, can I swim against back against this current? No, I can't. Oh, but that's where I want to go anyway. Perfect! I know what I want to do, even when I don't know what I want to do. Alright, that's everything we have for this area, but there's a mini-boss up ahead. I'm going to fight the mini-boss and see what he is. Boxy! The one that I really... Boxy is like the mini-boss I want to see the least. Because its power isn't anything rare or special or powerful, and it just kind of exists. I really don't care for Boxy. I'm still going to take its power, granted. I mean, why wouldn't I? But yeah, that should be everything of Moonlit Mansion taken care of. Yep. We could get out of here, but we're real close to a goal, so I'm going to... I'm going to use this power by mistake, thinking I have something else equipped. At least I'll heal that one bit of damage... Whatever. We're a goal game now. That's seriously going to be the whole episode. Just that little bit of cleanup. That is mildly disappointing for me. Oh well. We do what we do. We do what we do and we don't complain. That Kirby dance. Uh, anyway, that'll be it for this episode of Let's Play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. We've... We really haven't done much this episode, to be perfectly honest. But next time, we're hopefully going to accomplish more. I don't know how much more, but hopefully more. So until next time, guys, I will see you all later. No. I said no!